Hey everybody, what's up? Feedback here once again, this time with my favorite scary game. Not usually into scary games, but I am into the Alien franchise, the movies. And um, they just did a really fantastic job on this game. This isn't like uh, Colonial Marines, which was a first-person shooter. Um, that, that one they totally screwed up. And uh, this one they got it right. The environments are uh, totally authentic. And um, the game definitely keeps you on your toes. So anyway, without uh, belaboring the point anymore, let's go ahead and jump into it. I haven't played it in a while, so I'm going to warm up with the Crew Expendable add-on. Let's it decides to get going here. Let's see, extras. Extras, right? Yeah. Crew Expendable, here we go. go with the default difficulty. This will be about, uh, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes. So uh, this will be a good uh, first video for this uh, playthrough series that I'm going to be doing. Sure, took him into the airship. Disappeared into one of the cooling ducts. My question is, is using the air ducts to move around? You know, the primary air shaft may work to our advantage. We can lead it through down to the main airlock. Who gets to go into the vent? All right, so this is uh, Ellen Ripley, uh, and there's Dallas. Who else here? Parker? Those are the three you get to pick from. Uh, the other two, I forget their names. Uh, but they're not playable. They're just support characters in this scenario. But this is after done after the uh, the first movie. Um, this The whole game, Alien Isolation, is basically a sequel to the first movie. Um, and you'll see as we get into it. Like the... the uh, Connections. They actually put in quite a quite a few connections between the first movie um, and after the first movie and this game. Um, let's see. I think I actually want Ellen. I'm not sure if the scenario changes. I've I've played once with Dallas. Um, so I'm not sure. I'll do it. Ripley, you lead it into the primary air shaft. We trap it on the lower deck. Then Ash opens the airlock. Lock down the maintenance hatches where Parker, Lambert, and me are tracking it on the way. Let's do it, people. Come on, <laughs> do it. Get to the chopper. There we go. I forget her name. She's the one who goes crazy at the end of the first Aliens movie. Crazy with fear, that is. <coughs> and the music that's playing is the same that they used in the first Alien movie. So, you're going to hear me gush a lot over over this game <laughs> just because I enjoy it so much. Um, I've watched the Alien movies quite a few times. Let's see. Let's see what we can see. What can we collect? This game is all about evasion and crafting. Those are the two pillars of gameplay uh, in this. And so you you got to look around for um, all sorts of spare parts and stuff to help you out so you can build items. All right, let's get our equipment. up Dallas and the cool thing is too they got they got the original uh, actors Sigourney Weaver and uh, I believe Tom Skerritt 
to do the voices of uh, Ellen and Dallas again in this game, which is pretty cool. Let's go visit Mother. Oh, there we go. We got an unexpected wake-up call. Yellow light. I spoke to Mother, and she's picked up a distress call, a repeating acoustical beacon from a nearby planetoid. Doesn't sound like any radio signal I've heard. As the suit's listing, no. Company rules say we check it out. But now I've got to go tell the crew. They already know something's up. Tell us out. Yeah, so you're getting these audio logs that were, uh, uh, that you never heard in the first movie. Um, kind of fill in some of the gaps for people who, uh, don't know what's going on. I guess I'll go ahead and collect these. Got our flamethrower. Uh, I think we got a flare. I hate that. This game has the occasional glitch where items you're holding will show up uh, on screen when you're holding them. You'll walk into a room and there'll be items floating in the air. But uh, it does not ruin the enjoyment of the game at all whatsoever. It's still... In my book, this this was a perfect game. Um, just because of the way programming works and game development and how arduous a task it is, there's, there's always going to be some kind of a glitch somewhere in a game. Uh, but that should not keep it from from getting a high rating. Alright. I think we're good. Already visited Mother. Go down this little Typically, I wouldn't be running because that attracts attention, as you'll see in a few minutes. We finally encounter the alien. And what they do with the music is really cool. It, uh, <laughs> whenever there's danger nearby, the music gets real eerie. see that what's your face has already gotten up in the left eager beaver oh yeah this is our motion sensor and you might be able to hear my uh, my controller beeping <laughs> That's the sensor going off. Anyway, what we're detecting there is uh, the android. So there's no aliens in this part. Except, well, okay, except for that. Yeah. Indestructible. The security system has shut a number of doors, so you'll need to gather equipment en route. Mother isn't really helping the situation, unfortunately. Hmm. That's our android buddy. Before he goes crazy and tries to kill everybody. Make sure there's nothing in the corridor that we can collect. Nope. Alright. Oh, oh yeah. This is the famous dinner table where the guy had the alien pop out of his chest. Just saying. They I mean they, they modeled everything perfectly in this game. 
make it look the security like system to shut a number of doors so yes we need are. to gather equipment on route mother isn't really helping the situation Rostromo has landed on the surface of the planetoid the acoustical beacon is transmitting from. Dallas, Kane, and Lambert are making preparations to approach the beacon on foot. Surface structure is basalt with traces of rhyolite and probable lava overlays. Atmosphere, inert nitrogen, a little oxygen, and high levels of free CO2. Pressure reads at 10 to the 4th dimes per centimeter. Quite the storm raging out there. What's cool is, uh, you notice how the background went out of focus when you're using the sensor. Uh, the game never lets you see both at once. <laughs> so you're constantly having to prioritize what you're looking at and focusing on. Um, but what it does let you do is you could switch the field of focus. So that's, that's pretty cool. That's, I guess that's handy. I don't really use it that much. Um, Maybe I'm playing the game wrong, I don't know, but I usually just drop the sensor, like if I'm hiding or something, uh, because it does make noise that the alien can hear. So, alright, I think, I think we're ready to go, I gotta make it, Let's throw it. Alrighty, let's do it. Good luck. I'm closing the hatch behind you. Sure. 